Hello, hello. What's up, guys? Um, two or three. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good everything. Guys, I am back. I know it's been a while. I haven't been vlogging. There's a good reason. It's been a, actually more than a week. And I'll tell you why. Not sounded bad, but uh, it was just a good reason not. But uh, I'm back. I'm glad you guys are still here. You didn't left. <laughs> what kind of English is that? You didn't left. You never left. You are still here, guys. And uh, it's time to step out. We've been lazing around. This lady right here, she's the one who made me not flock for more than a week. Um, briefly, let me tell you what happened. When we came, we had two crazy weeks of touring this beautiful country, Kenya, doing what we needed to do, following a schedule. And then she got sick. When she got sick, my world comes to a standstill. I can't function. So now I put everything down to take care of this lady. Everything. I have to cook for her. I have to do everything for her. Shower, everything. <laughs> so, so, it's not like I couldn't vlog, but I just felt like, ah, let me just take care of my wife. Let me just make sure she's okay. So, actually for a full week, we stayed home, a country home after the Mombasa trip. We never left. I never left that gate. It's only one day I left the gate, actually one night. I had to rush out to an emergency because she wasn't feeling well. Uh, according to the doc doctors, because of the traveling and all this and that and that and those and that and the everything, made her sick, unfortunately. And like I said, when she gets sick, my world too comes to a standstill. That is why I didn't flog, guys. That is the only reason, because she was sick. But now, we are back in Nairobi, our home back here. And uh, we want to step out and maybe enjoy a cup of coffee outside or and tea. Nothing much. So let's go. Let's go. Wife, do you want to say something or are you going to say outside? You can say it out there. That's fine. Okay. This one two days ago was flooded with so many people. I had my in-laws, the whole gang, visited me, came to see their daughter who was sick. <laughs> Man. They came the whole village <laughs> with the trailers. That's how they show up. They couldn't even fit in a bus. They took a semi trailer. <laughs> <laughs> they came to see their daughter here, my beautiful wife. Once she gets oh sick, they also get sick. So now, that is how my world came to a standstill. I could not vlog, I could not do anything. Kids running all over, kicking everything. Pulling everything, auntie, uncle, daddy, mommy, others are crying, are still on diapers, everything, guys. But you know what? I love them. I love my laws, guys. They are one of the best in laws. Um, they respect me, they respect my family, they are so respectful. Forget about the kids running all over breaking and kicking things. That's what the kids, kids does anyway. Most kids doesn't run around and kick stuff around. Poor word on the dispenser, flashing bathroom more than a hundred times. <laughs> I actually saw a flooded bathroom. I don't know what happened, what they dumped on the bathroom and before I realized water was overflowing, I came running, I became the plumber guy. So now Mutua 3 becomes a plumber, you know? I was not going to look for the Amaro plumber. I did the plumbing business, man. I saved the house from sinking. Why if you couldn't do much? 
but she has recovered now she can smile and it's just two of us even the the other gang it's Motua for and the wife they are not with us today it's just two of us back to where we began just two of us this big house we don't know what to do that's why we want to step outside and get some sunshine let's go yes guys i am outside this is our front yard and guess what this is one of the gifts i got from uh, maro my friend he actually gave me five of these small beautiful traditional seats and they made it to my home also if you watch uh, the previous clip there's also another gift uh, we got from maro um, and that was uh, two birds and guess where they are now if you didn't watch that clip they are at our country home chilling hanging out there you know let me open the car okay i forgot you have the keys so we are stepping out that's just two of us like i said john and mary mary's back to work John is back to work. We are the only two guys now who are jobless, just standing around and doing nothing. Uh, even though, guys, I have work, or we have work to do for our home. But today, let's go and have tea outside. You gonna open the... Oh, okay, okay. Let me start this guy. So it's time to leave. Here is your and also guys uh once again if you haven't bought one of these homes please please if you have Kenyans and you want you want to own a home in Nairobi, a beautiful place where Mutua three lives with his family, four bedrooms three bedrooms here they are Chad Africa they are selling actually when we bought the price has gone up now to the price has increased by 1.5 million uh, by the time of purchasing they were going for 13.5 now they are going for 15 million so if you are interested guys reach out uh, send me an email text me if you can whatsapp me and I will connect you with the owners beautiful home here we are let's go and enjoy all right i am going in so guys we're gonna go in here we just found a nice place along this place it is what's the name high point resort let's have some coffee here Take a break of home coffee and tea. Let's see what these guys have to offer. We've had enough Yamachoma and it's time for coffee from another mother. <laughs> right? Coffee from another mother. Let's see. Welcome, Yamachoma. from here and we found a nice place once again high point we just gonna have coffee tea and head back home once again it's just me and wifey chilling home uh, we don't have a big crowd with us now so a little bit quiet let's go this way guys inside here never been here from outside it looks like a pretty small class but it's huge i have seen ladies gents, garden swimming pool i don't know what goes on there as they get to the swimming pool and i'm gonna go this way 
bouncy kids center and wow let me check this place wow wow they actually have a very nice uh, place at the front it looks like a <laughs> kind of small but it's so huge let's go this way <laughs> We are living. We had a fantastic time. Actually, coffee turned out to be a beer. I haven't had a beer for quite some time, and uh, I drank one beer, and now I'm feeling. I'm not feeling like it. The beer refused to go down. <laughs> But the tea lady enjoys the tea. <laughs> so now we gotta go home. Let's go home, guys. <coughs> Let's go home. So, guys, we are going home. We once again we just left the place. We came to have coffee and tea. But um, let me repeat myself. Some people just joined the clip right now. My coffee turned out to be a beer I actually requested for wine I just wanted a glass of red wine but they wanted to sell a bottle I need a bottle of wine a glass is enough and uh, so now I get to go home I tried they gave me two beers actually two cold beers on my requests I drank one and I was feeling so uncomfortable because I haven't had beer for more than five years and I decided no I ain't gonna drink beer I ain't gonna drink what I don't want let's go so now we are going home you okay? <laughs> I am very much okay so guys let's go home this is the road We make sure look right, left, right, left, then go. Oh, that one is coming very fast. Remember, guys, here we drive on the left hand side. So for for me to join the the road, I have to go to the other side, and there's no stop sign. So I have to keep looking left, right, left, right, left, right. Until okay. the road is clear for me, clear just like side. that, and I go. All right, let's go. Guys, uh, this mode of transport, uh, the three-wheeled, not three-legged. Look, three of them, they are all competing. They are so common in this place. You can see, they are all over the road. Sometimes they don't want to give you way. a short trip or outing we never even finished for three hours we are back home we feel like just hanging home just by ourselves i'm going to get you fasting what kind of milk <laughs> oh my god yes guys the, that one beer i took oh man i just feel so uncomfortable and um Wife says she wants to get me some milk, a glass of milk. I'm kind of having like an art bar because I think I haven't had a beer for such a long time. But um, yeah, so let's go down this way. Our home is down there, and we 
get more money, no lights. The sun is just setting up, you can see. So we go. So we are back home. This is our area, our neighbors, some vacant homes, some are occupied. I keep on saying guys, we need to come and buy homes right here. And now it's time to go home. It's your time to open the gate. Oh my god. Where is the wall, the guy who opens the gate? Which one? I don't know. I closed the gate earlier so you get to open. Oh man. Guys, look. I'm the driver. Somebody should open the gate for me. Where's the key? I Guys, this is unfair, man. I'm the driver. Um, why he does want to come out and open the gates? You need to hire somebody to open the gate for me. You can't be driving up to come out and open the gate. No. Stop whining and come and put the car in the parking. <laughs> I am not whining, guys. Remember, I need to get you first aid. So. <laughs> I'm feeling better now. Oh. We just close the gates. So that now this gate thing, I open somebody else close. Oh, I'm the one who opened earlier. Oh, you go and close. So we are fighting over that, guys. <laughs> I know most of you will be like, Mr. Mutua, you should be the one opening the gate. Yes, I should. But I'm the same guy who's driving most of the time. You know? But because we choose to drive. But we can fix this problem. It's find somebody to open the gate. We can open our own gate. Yeah. Why didn't somebody open the gate? Yeah, it's always whining. I'm not whining. Neither am I lazy anyway. And uh, I can't close this. Okay, let me do it for you. So I was gonna walk this way to show them the neighborhood. Okay. I don't know whether I don't know whether I did last time. Um, we closed this morning. So, um, so guys, let's take a walk, a brief open one. Uh, then open this, like this, or this for me. Let me show her how to open gates. <laughs> she don't know. <laughs> I'm sure your friends will be back, she will be like, what? Yeah, she don't know how to open gates, guys. No, it's the padlock. Spoiled the wifey. No, it's the padlock, which is messed up. Okay, okay uh, me, are you taking me. a walk with me? Yeah, let me. Walk okay. Me. So we're gonna take a walk. Um, I'll, I'll get those later. Maybe for a thumbnail. No, keys. Do you have uh, the keys? No, yeah, I have keys. Let's walk. So, taking an afternoon walk. It's too late. Once again, guys, this is where we live. Beautiful homes. I will never stop promoting this place because this is where I live. Love the place. We like it. It's a beautiful place. See all the homes going all the way. We got 12, 12, 12 total. There are 56 homes. So I just spoke with the owner this morning and she told me she's almost done. But now she needs to sell them. So you guys need to come and buy the homes so she can enjoy the man but meanwhile look at the beautiful compound the guy who does the the flowers and other stuff is doing a great job yes so there's a gate right there we can go past that gate because that's the construction area 
I'm seeing other tenants like in this house or neighbors. About then? Yes. And um, they look like they are taking a walk just like us. I'm sure they live somewhere around here. Our home is back there. Yeah, so these are the newer homes. Most of them are vacant, they are not occupied. But I'm sure there's somebody who lives here. I always see a vehicle coming out of this place. <coughs> um, yes, let's see what they have. Oh, look, one finished. So they are painting now. Didn't finish. So guys, once again, come and buy homes here, guys. Let's leave with Mutua 3. Let's make this our new Nyabohanze estate. Not the village. So, yeah, definitely we can go past here. Yeah. But right there. There. New homes. Let's see. Are you able to see? Guys, can you see? Let me show you. Right here. Can you see? More homes being constructed right there. All right, let's go back. You can tell that it's occupied. When you see the water either on the top, means it's occupied already. So people bought it already. Yep. So how was the outing? Did you like it? Two hours? I'm trying to gain my energy back and also gain myself back. It's so not been an easy journey. If we come back again, will you make another trip to two weeks? No. Trip the way we did? No. <laughs> so guys, wife is just say she's not again. Oh never again. Because anyway she was very sickly. I was so worried, but I'm glad you see how taking Those a walk. Things were bad. Taking a walk. Yep. Enjoying. I could do my vlogs for a week. I was so worried about my wife. I was literally babysitting her. I was the babysitter. She needed to you pay me. You did a good job. Oh, thank you guys. Did you hear that, guys? I need something, guys. She buy because me something. Because the things, the things you did, I think most people cannot do. Oh wow. Yeah. Guys, did you hear? Give it up to Mutua 3. Good job, Mutua 3. Thank you. <laughs> I should get my special iced tea, right? Uh, but it's getting you sick. Yeah, yeah, it's the beer, it's the beer, not my special iced tea. Okay. Yeah, it's not really sick, it's kind of discomfort. Let's call, give it a nice name, discomfort. <laughs> yes. So. All right, so we are back home. And I'll hand this clip here, guys. Not yet. I till I get you first aid. Oh, okay. So let's go. Oh, okay. let's go, guys. She wants to get me first aid. I don't know what she's up to. Let's go inside the house. Back home. Wife says she wants to give me first aid. I don't know what kind of first aid she's talking about, but uh, of course, I have little heartburn, and I so I just think need some milk. Isn't. We got some milk somewhere. Let's see. I got it. I just need a small glass. There, yeah, that's the milk we have there. Just a small sip. I'll get myself a glass. This glass. Do you have the light? Turn the light for this glass. Okay. Uh, right here. And uh, here it is. You wanna open? So guys, see, the beer backfired, guys. <laughs> the beer backfired. So now, I, I belong to ICU. That's not. It's just one sip. It's just one sip. But it makes me like feel like I'm maybe drinking a whole glass of milk. You are somebody's baby. Mm. That's good. So can I add my clip now? No, you're gonna finish your milk. That's a lot.
I say. Okay, I need to go outside and collect the clothes. Okay. Then I water the glass. The glass? Did I say glass? Yes, you did. Oh my God. Well, guys, don't worry. Sometimes it happens. So, I'm just gonna step outside and water the grass a little bit because this is the best time to do that. Hey, and you got milk in the glass. I'll take a last sip. So, why you take care of the clothes and let me take care of the grass? Okay? Okay, let me take the last sip. I don't want you to feel bad. Cheers. Thank you so much. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you for following our journey to Africa and in Kenya. Also, thank you and my apologies for not giving you videos for last one week. I actually said the reason so many times. So that's what happened. But now we are back again online. And let's end this clip here until tomorrow. Much love. Look at Do you need light? More light? Let's look at So the African way, you wash your clothes. You got a small, nice, beautiful washer right there with a dryer. But look here, hey, the sun. We got plenty of sun in Africa and especially in Nairobi, Kenya. So now we just hang our clothes out, we dry them the natural way and then you just fold them and put them back again. So we are really blessed to have so much sun in this part of the world.